The Sony Xperia Tablet Z is the company's latest premium tablet entry. Well, that depends on your definition of premium. It has a 10.1 inch IPS screen with a 1920 by 1200 resolution. However, unlike the previous Xperia tablets, which had smooth metal backsides, the Z's body is plastic, which kind of takes a few premium points away. Also, I'm not a huge fan of the edge design. It just doesn't feel that comfortable. However, the corners are nice and smoothly rounded. The tablet is also really light for a 10-incher and is the thinnest 10-incher I've yet seen. Allow me to do things like this. And the Tablet Z's waterproofing allows me to do stuff like this. What do you think of that? You can submerge the Tablet Z in up to three feet of water for up to 30 minutes, or you know, you could just run water over it for fun. This is really fun. There are three ports on the Z, and as long as a door to each is snapped shut, water shouldn't be able to get in. The three doors cover ports for the headphone jack, a micro SD slot, and an MHL connection, which is kind of like a micro USB mixed with an HDMI connection. There's a front facing two megapixel camera and a rear eight megapixel camera. Each camera includes Exmor R tech that is supposed to allow them to take better pictures in low light. And while low light pictures technically do capture more light, the quality of the shots ain't all that great. Pictures taken at normal lighting conditions, however, look fine. The Z runs Android 4.1.2 and includes Sony's usual tablet software suite, including Video and Music Unlimited. It's also PlayStation certified, giving you access to PlayStation mobile games. Games performance is a bit better than the Nexus 10 with slightly higher frame rates in polygonal games, but game levels don't load as fast. Also, the D doesn't have the kind of app downloading horsepower the Nexus 10 does, and large apps took noticeably longer to get to the system over Wi-Fi. For 500 bucks, the Z gets you 16 gigabytes of storage, two good cameras, and good performance. If you feel waterproofing would come in handy and are willing to pay $500 for an Android tablet, you'll probably find it difficult to be disappointed by the Xperia Tablet Z. I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the Sony Xperia Tablet Z.